Hey guys, welcome back to our channel, Funtime Crafts 24-7. I have a, another little project share here for you. I made this cute little um, drawstring bag. Um, I needed to make something to hold my little um, woolly uh, dryer balls, these little dryer balls, and uh, dryer tumblers or, you know, whatever you want to call them. Um, the bag I had, the desiccant, uh, busted in it and it got all over it and I knew that if I were to wash and dry the bag it'd be too small um to hold them and it was barely big enough to hold these anyways so I wanted to make a new one and um anyhow so I made this cute little uh drawstring bag had this little blue piece of material in my stash and then um this little uh like rope it's it's a uh, it's actually rope for you know like card making or little Christmas craft DIY stuff and, um, so I thought, hey, let's just use it. Uh, let's just give it a whirl and see what happens here. And so I had this, um, little, I had this, uh, Stamps of Life 5x7 flower fold it die in my set. And what I did was I used this large die here to cut out some strong bond patterned iron on. And it came, it comes in here. I'll show you the patterns. Um, it comes in this one, this one, and this one, and, um, they're, so they're 12 by 17 inch, uh, sheets, and, um, it's called the Sunset Blossom Sampler, and, um, so super cute, so I took that die and ran it through my, uh, just cut a piece off, um, of the sheet I wanted to use. I just cut a piece off. Ran it through my um, Sizzix a Big Shot with the die. And it worked great. It cut it out with no problems whatsoever. So I wanted to um, uh, show you how iron-on works here. And this is the first time I've ever used it. So I'm like, hey, let's do it together. Um, and in the direction. So I went on uh, Cricut's website. And in their heating guide... Uh, it said I needed to preheat the material for five seconds at, at 340 degrees. So I need to change. That's the timer. I'm going to put it down to five seconds. Uh, this is from the last project we did with infusible ink on a t-shirt. And I was going to give you an update on the t-shirt. Um, now, on the t-shirt that I did, um, I accidentally left fabric softener in I use fabric softener in the wash in that project and forgot that you were not supposed to use it and so um anyhow I ended up uh let's see and then let's see U ultimately we're gonna let's see it's five seconds and then 30 so let's leave it let's leave it on 30 and then I'll just you know do the five so let that go let's oh shoot let me undo this really quick it, uh, my cord was rubber band. It <laughs> and I'm going to put it down here. So let's push start. And then we'll let it run down for five. Oh, that was five. And then, um, oh shoot. Huh, I wonder if they're preheating. It probably cooled too much. Okay, so then we'll put that on there, like that, because I want it down in the corner, like that. And it, it didn't say that you had to have anything on the top of it that I read, but I'm still going to put a piece of copy paper on the top of it. Um, I don't know why. It just seems peace of mind. And then it said 30 seconds. So we're going to put start, because we had 30 on our timer. And then you don't move it around or anything. And uh, so anyways, let me show you while that's kind of counting down. So I laundered the shirt again and it faded. It faded. Uh, about half the color went out. But this is what's going to stay. And I still think it's pretty darn cute on there. And it was super fun to wear originally. This will still be, and it is a work shirt, so not a problem. But that's what happens when you forget to leave the fabric softener out. And uh, whatnot. So it said to flip it over and do it for an additional 15 seconds. So that's what we're going to do here. Push start. I'm going to just let it count down to 15 and then take it off. And then it said to remove the liner when it was cool. So we'll wait for it to cool down as well. 
and um, 15. So we're good there. So let's see what it looks like. Hey, that looks pretty good. So we'll let that get cold. It'll probably get colder. Turn that off. Um, oh, yeah, and then I use a Cricut mat. This is what I use to do all the transferring and stuff on. Um, yeah, and it's really nice. So we'll give this a whirl in just a second, and then we'll see how it looks. Isn't that the cutest thing? Oh, I think that's so cute. And then I'm just going to hang this up in my laundry room with my little dryer balls next to the dryer. And I think that'll come out super cute. And then, um, yeah, another way to use your dies, though, cut your iron on out and uh, stick it on some fun plain shirts and stuff. Or put it on your jeans or whatever. Wouldn't that look cute on a pair of jeans? I think that would be darling. Oh, and it's cool. That was fast. Oh, it's not. Oh, wow. It's actually peeling off. So let's power that puppy back on and do it again. So maybe I need to put it straight on there. Huh. Okay, okay. Maybe it's like a regular dill. Okay, 330. It's still heating up and the little red, it has a red seed instead of a green. So that means it still has to heat when it's red. Let's go ahead and do it again. Start. Wow. Hmm. Okay, now we're directly on the iron on. We'll see how this works. Well, alrighty then. Maybe this is, and then we'll flip it over too and do it for the additional 15 seconds and see what happens. But yeah, so this little bag, uh, how I ended up making it was I s folded the two sides in a half an inch on each side twice. So it folded over on itself, sewed up the two sides, uh, with the edge on um, just the edges and then, oh, quickly 15, um, sewed up the two, uh, edges and then I did the same thing on the top, uh, so then I did it, and the reason I did the sides first was so that way on where the drawstring is, you won't get a frayed edge. And so then I did the same thing on the top. I rolled it down twice, sewed it, and then I rolled it down an inch. This is about an inch um, to have a spot for my drawstring. Laid the, looped the drawstring. I, 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 oh, that was 30. Oh, shoot. Well, I guess we'll see what happens. We'll see what happens when you do it for a minute. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> That's funny. So anyhow, um, so then I, after I folded it down to get the edge nice, I folded it down an inch, put my cording in there, and uh, you could generally just do um, the length of it, not, but I sewed mine. So I put the sewed part on the inside after I double looped it so I could cinch it and, um, and then just sewed right next to it. And then I put the other two loops on this side and then sewed it down there. And then that's how I got the, um, so the, and so then, um, I sewed, so then I kept it inside out and I sewed up the two sides all the way up to where I sewed this at. So like, so, See, it, it's just sewed right, the inside's just sewed right up to there. And then that way you have the two little drawstring gaps. But isn't that cute? Well, that's cool. Let's see what happens now. You're just supposed to be able to peel the top like that. That's all that is supposed to come off. Hey, that looks pretty good. Let's see how durable that. Oh, hmm. hmm. I don't know. It is just for dryer balls, so I think I'm gonna press that again really quick. Boy, not like uh, infusible ink for sure. Wouldn't have guessed that. But this is this stuff is nice because you can put it on dark colors where the other you can't. So let's do this for about 15. I don't know what's going to happen. It's kind of a rubbery texture on top. So we will just see, I guess.
Hmm. Might have to do it a couple times. It looks pretty cute though. So, okay, hey, that that worked. That worked. That worked. Okay, so after you peel the backer off, you might have to put a piece of copy paper to protect it because I don't know what would happen if you just stuck this directly on it since you had to peel that backer off. Um, I would put a piece of copy paper or butcher paper on top and then do it for another 15 seconds. And then you get a nice clean edge that should be pretty durable through the wash. It's not going to be a permanent type thing, you know, but... For fun, if you're doing a family reunion or some kind of cool party or something like that, it should last just fine. Just fine. I don't plan on washing this a whole lot because it's just going to have little dryer balls in it. But, um, yeah. And, uh, so, yeah. And, uh, then I was just going to tie it up and hang it up in my laundry room. I got a, a few more, but how cute is that? All right, let me know what you think of the project down below. Hope you guys are having a, oh, it's a Friday, a fantastic week and have a great weekend. We'll catch you again soon. Bye-bye.